everyone know in this pandemic situation we should be very strict about our job for getting a job we should try one more step okay so i have chosen this subject to how to write resume effectively okay so let's start the presentation first thing what is meant by resume okay so before you your resume reach to the interviewer so you have you uh, you can tell it as a representative okay so resume represents you more than better so it helps recruiter to know you better gives idea about your writing skills provide a contact details okay so someone may call that is a call it as a cv or someone may bio data but for the professional professionalism we should call it as a resume okay bio data is not word good word for this resume also because we are not going for a preparing marriage so resume is main and important thing for the job candidate so let's start with the job agenda what is our agenda okay these are the four points we are going to cover first one structure of the resume second one what are the do's for the resume third one don'ts for the resume and fourth how to find mistakes your in your own resume okay so let's start with the basic structure what it includes it includes name and contact details objective academic and educational details experience and last one skills let's let's start with the basic structure okay so for the example purpose i am going to write one resume in front of you so just concentrate on my cursor and screen okay for the example i am having a resume of sushant ahuja so sushant is a fresher and i am going to write resume for sushant okay so start with the name you can write the name in the middle of the page or at the left corner of the page as we are seeing on our screen okay after name we should write our address and contact details we should have mobile and email id with a valid one okay so this is a name and contact details after that there should be a career objective this is a very important part in the resume okay but many of us don't know what is the objective so let's discuss discuss about objective okay what is the objective it's the actually purpose behind your job application what is your mindset behind this job application okay so it should be effective and to the point so let's guess what includes in the objective it includes who you are what you want to be and how will you make your company successful example of career objective let's take a one example to understand it better to obtain a position that will allow me to utilize my technical skills experience and willingness to learn in making an organization successful so in this objective you tell recruiter that you have a technical skills you have a experience and of course you want your organization to be successful i am underlining these things okay so let's add career objective okay after career objective what should we add we should add educational detail details but if you are a experienced candidate then recruiter wants experience what you have done in your project what you have done in your last job is more important than your educational detail so you can write experience first and after that you can have your educational details this is for the experienced candidate but if you are a fresher then just go with the educational details because you don't have anything other than educational details okay so you can write this educational details in the tabular form or maybe it in the form of bullets that completely your choice okay so i am having sushant has done btech from iit madras and this contact details i have added okay main thing in the educational detail is that you should add percentage 
and the year of passing okay so recruiter has idea that when she get pass out when she has when he has pass out okay so let's see what what should we add after educational details okay so last point is a skills so skill is an important part of the job can for the job candidate so i am taking some example to understand it better if you are a software developer then you should have a skills like a java html and css if you are a mechanical engineer then you should have knowledge about catia autocad and proe these are the software use mainly using for a design purpose if you are from accountant background then you should know what is been by tally how to use excel effectively you should have good hands on this kind of a software okay so you should know which skill is suitable for your field but many of the students don't have skill so don't worry just go and have new skill because it's never too late after skills uh, let's add the skills in our resume so i am adding so sushant has these skills java html css and javascript so i have added it in the sushant's resume after that you can add your personal details also what it includes it includes date of birth language known to you basically in which language you speak which language you have proficiency you can add it in into the resume after that your strength like you are a hard worker or you have a leadership quality like this and last one you can add hobbies to your resume okay but remember playing pubg playing candy crush on your mobile is not a hobbies are not a hobbies okay so let's add some personal details of sushant i'm adding date of birth and strength okay so we have completed our resume but last thing we are missing that we should add our signature i'm showing on the right corner of the page i'm okay so this is our resume if you want you can have a screenshot of your screen because this is the template you have to make this resume by your own okay so i will wait for 2 second if you want you can have the screenshot okay so after this what we have completed till this slide we have completed basic structure of the resume and we are good to go for do's and don'ts so let's discuss about do's and don'ts okay do's for the resume first one use maximum keyword so where we get this keywords so there is a one trick to find keywords you should read job description first and get some words from the job description so you can attract so you can have attention of recruiter attention of recruiter after this your font type should be professional so we have a three professional type let's discuss one by one one is arial second one times new roman and third one calibri we should use these font type for the professionalism after this it it mainly depends on your font size okay it's not too large not too small okay it totally suits your resume but if you are using these three font type then you should have resume you should have a font size of 12 okay so after this avoid paragraph in your resume instead of paragraph use bullet or numbering method for your resume it definitely grab the attention of the recruiter next thing is a printing what is meant by printing you should take a print out of your resume from a good printer never do photocopy of your resume because it creases your attention okay so 
let's discuss what are the don'ts in the resume resume first one don't make a spelling mistake in your resume just don't i know there is a mistake in a mistake word okay so you can grab this easily of course your recruiter are going to grab this going to find easily this mistakes so avoid this mistakes second one don't use color paper but if you are a graphic designer or uh, uh, what we can say your area is related to the design and coloring so you can use color paper also third one don't fold your resume it just give a clumsy look to your resume fourth one don't copy from the internet because recruiter have thousands of resume resume he understand where you have copied this content so don't copy it from the internet last one don't lie in the resume not in the resume but in the life also so how to find your own mistake our last point is related to this finding your own mistakes there are two methods to find your mistakes first one proofreading what is meant by proofreading let's discuss i'm taking one example here so this is our resume so what we usually do we read it from top line to bottom line like this okay but proofreading is a method where we should read the resume from bottom line to the top one so we can understand our mistakes and what should what should we add what should we uh, neglect from the resume okay so second method is easy and very effectively very effective take a print out and give it to your friend okay he will find some mistake in your resume definitely so second method is very useful have some print out give it to your friend and ask ask them to find mistakes okay he will at least find one mistake in your resume okay these two methods is useful for finding our mistakes okay so what we have completed we have completed basic structure of resume do's for the resume don'ts for the resume and last one we also completed to finding a mistake so we have completed our presentation i know you are now able to write your build resume effectively so thank you for listening me patiently if you have any question any doubt related to this you can ask in the chat box 